Okay, so this is the threshold three tier book bookshelf. I am going to show you the complete assembly of this video. My daughter loves books. We have like a bookshelf already in her room, but now we also want to put some here um, because she has so many books and she wants to make sure that when you have, whether she's upstairs or down, she has something to read. So yeah, we'll complete a detailed video in the assembly and also do a final review. Okay, so. There are total five parts, right? Three, the three shelves, two of these handles, and then you have this one thing, and notice it has this hardware on it, right? I want to make sure you don't accidentally toss it away, because it has the, all the screws and stuff that you need to connect. And then you have this manual. So five major parts, and screw, and the manual. Okay, yeah, but you can take it. Okay, so now, next step is I'm going to start opening this thing. But it is very, very quick to make, because there are limited number of screws that you need to connect. Okay, so if you notice, I have removed the screws here. These are the screws. These are the uh, the you know nuts in which the screws will fit basically. And these are the wooden uh, slots. Next, you can see here this one says B, and this one here says A. You want the A to be on this side and B to be on this side. Also, just to make sure it's easy to show you in the video, let me just turn this around so that you can see it easily. Okay, so next step is you want to take these screws here. These screws here, if you notice, and they have an arrow pointed on one of on one side. If you notice here, there is an arrow, and that arrow should always point outside. So notice how I am placing it, right? This is outside, so arrow points this way. So I am going to just place it here like this. I am going to do the same thing here as well. Arrow point outside. Don't. It's okay if it's not perfect. You can use a screw, a screwdriver to make it perfect later. But try to make sure that arrow almost points here. That makes your life easier. So three. Then this arrow. Once again, here arrow should point outside. You notice how I am placing it with the arrow pointed to the outside. Okay. So now here, let 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 me show you here. Notice how the arrow is pointing to the outside. It is true for all the four. Same I am going to do on the other on the other side as well. The four of I'm going to show once again the arrow point outside. So this side now. The other side, the opposite side. This side. Right? You want to put all the four here, you want to put them on this and this. So in total, you have eight on one slot and there are three of them. So you will be putting 24 of this. Okay? Next, you want. Um, next, you basically what you want is you want three of these and two of these, right? So this one will go here. Then you have one wooden one, this one, wooden one, and this one. Same you are going to do here, here, and here as well. Right? So I can put this and show it to you. So I want you to notice this, right? There are three of these screws and two of these screws, and I have three of them here. So you can put this in here like this, in here, and start connecting this with a Phillips head screwdriver. You are going to do the same thing here, 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 and on the other side as well. We are going to make it look exactly the same. Okay, next there are bigger holes, three bigger holes here. You want to once again put the wooden ones here, same on the other side. And then put the smaller ones with these screws here. One, two, and three. Same on the other side. Okay. Now, if the arrows are not, when you put it in, arrows are not properly pointed. You can just use a screwdriver to make sure that it's pointed correctly. Right. And now is the first step. Right. You're going to pick this up. Right. And notice this part here, right? The two screws. This is where this and this will go. So make sure you are pointing it correctly, right? This is the front. No, sorry. This is the back. Show you. I'm just turning this around so that you can see it properly. So okay. So what is the simple rule to understand? This is the front and this is the back. Now notice this thing said here front here. So essentially, what you want to do is you want to place it here like this. 
to make sure that the screw goes inside the screw holes the way they are supposed to. You want to adjust it and put it inside here. Okay, so I had to adjust it a little bit, but finally it went in a little bit. Now just press it from the top here. Notice how I pressed it and notice you heard the sound. Because not all the screws were in properly, but once I pressed it because of this weight, it went inside. We are going to do, and next what you need to do is you need to take the screwdriver. Right? And you want to tighten the screws. So, if, if this was not pointing correctly, then this might not go in properly. So, pointing it correctly to the outside was very very important. So, use the screwdriver if it's not pointed correctly. But once it fits in like the way it's fitting here right now, now all you need to do is just tighten the screws. Right? So, four screws, you are going to tighten it. Right? Same we are going to do for the other two shelves as well. We are going to place them right here. But go in this direction. Mm -hmm. Right? You have enough maneuverability to tighten the screws. So do the top first, then the second one bottom and then the last one bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay? So one of the screw was not aligned properly. Right? So I had to remove it because it was not fitting in properly. It was not pointing outwards properly. I removed it and aligned the screws, all of them, pointing them outwards. That is on this direction here. And then I put in and it went in smoothly. Right? And once again, I'm going to do the same thing that I told you. I'm going to tighten it. Right? Tighten all the four of them. And same, I'm going to do this one here. Okay? Next, I recommend you moving to the side and then connecting it. But I prefer to do it from the top. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it from the top actually. This, exactly the way I did here, right? I'm just going to match the corresponding holes here. And notice how easy it is to see. Because I'm doing it from the top here. This is going to make my life very, very easy. Okay. So, yep, some of the dowels came out. Let me put them back in. So, which one came out? Two of them came out. Okay. Yep, there is one here that came out. I'm going to put this in here. And there is another one that came out over here. Right? Notice I need to adjust it a bit. Yep, notice how I'm adjusting it a bit. Notice how it slides in, right? Once I adjust it properly. Right? But yes, you do need to do adjust it a little bit. Okay? So what I did was, I was having some problems. So what I did was I flipped it around. So I put the final part as well, not connected at the bottom. And this, the one that was connected at the top. And then I went ahead and I started adjusting the screws, making sure they are pointed correctly. Once I did that, I was able to do it. You can also tighten them, a few of them, start from the bottom and start to tighten them uh, and you will see that they start to get closer. But you have to little bit adjust them to the top most one. It's a little bit tricky. But keeping it upside down also really helps you. Definitely recommend it for everybody. Right? Next step is to, you notice these round things here. Now, this is very very big, right? So it's, it's likely that whatever you are placing, they have different heights. So you can use this to make sure this is not wobbly. Right? Next, the final step is using this and this. You want to basically connect this at the back here. Notice the hole provided here. So well, let me put it down. You see? Side. Okay, it's not happy. It's because you are not really lifting the whole thing. But notice this hole here. This is where you are going to connect these things here and this is the wall anchor. So you want to make sure this connect it to the wall. Because if you have a daughter like me, you might want to climb one thing, so you don't want to make sure it does not tip on top. And if you have a lot of heavy, heavy books, it's just nice to have. So making sure that this is connected to the wall is something that I'm going to exactly do next. But overall it's very, very heavy and sturdy. And it's going to last for a really long time. The whole thing is made of wood. 
I can actually feel how sturdy it is. It feels nice. Like if you buy this, you it will be heavy. Yeah. It will be heavy, but super sturdy. And you can use this, you know, comfortably and this will last you for years. So yeah, solid build. Uh, very happy with it. Let me let me put it on side and show it to you properly. So this is how it looks. I want you to notice something, right? This is how it is. There is like a small back protector on the side here, right? Behind. Yeah. Right? And it's the, let's say, you can put really, really large books. Like for example, you know, if you have encyclopedia, etc. Then there is enough space for you to put the books comfortably. So you are not really worried about it. You can obviously also use it for in other cases, not just as bookshelf. You can also put stuff on this. You can keep heavy objects like showcase or anything that you want. Pretty solid and can, can support a huge amount of weight because it's so sturdy and strong. But definitely very heavy and not easy to move. That's the thing I wanted to point out. But yeah, very happy with it. Does what it says and feels sturdy and nice. Okay, thank you.